Welcome to our Microsoft Word Academy. In this video, we want to look a little bit about what the default Microsoft Word window looks like and how you can change some of the view options. Now, the Word window really is divided into three sections. Up here at the top, you've got your interface. And that includes the ribbon area up here that takes up the bulk of the area, and then your quick launch bar over here in the upper left-hand corner. Down below that, you have your main document window. And in this case, I'm going in showing my rulers right here. And then finally, at the very bottom, you have a status bar which has some commands on it and which also has the zoom on it. Now, if I go to the view menu, I'm going to see some different options for changing the way my window looks. For instance, right now I'm in print layout, but I could go to full screen reading mode, and you're going to see the change there. You actually, you probably won't see um, all of it. You won't see all of it because you can't see my full screen. But if I press Escape, it's going to come back down to the size that I'm uh, used to. You can also look at a web layout here of your document um, or outline or draft mode. And we'll look at outlines and draft mode a little bit later on. You have your zoom tools right up here, which are pretty self-explanatory. You can zoom into 100% just simply by clicking right there or you can zoom out to a specific uh, degree by clicking the zoom button and using this dialog box. And you can see again, I'm set for 200 per, or for 100% there. I actually want to go ahead and select page width. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK and you'll see it makes it just big enough so I can see the entire width of my page. You can also get access to your zoom controls here in the lower right hand corner including clicking on the percentage and getting into the Zoom dialog box again. Now, the rulers here can be also turned off and on. And you do that simply by going to the View tab again and clicking Ruler off and on, just like that. A couple other things that you're going to want to be aware of. One is you can hide your header and footer space. You do that by pointing in between the ruler and the edge of your page. When I do that, you're going to see I get an unusual shaped cursor and a little tool tip comes up that says double click to hide white space. If I double click, you'll see I can no longer see my header. And if I scroll down, I don't have um, a page worth of text here, but you would see that um, I couldn't see the footer. To bring that back, you're going to go ahead and just point right there again. You'll get that unusual double-headed arrow, and you double-click, and you get that margin space back. There are also controls for setting the indentation and the margin on your ruler here. And we'll look at that more when we look at the uh, different paragraph formatting um, options. And then finally, you have some statistics down here in the lower left hand corner. You have, you, I can see I've got page one of one here, and I can also see the total number of words in my document. And then obviously I have a scroll bar over here to my left and down at the bottom. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and look at how you can customize your user interface right up here at the top. Make changes to maybe the home tab or make your own tabs and also customize your quick launch up here for things that you use frequently.